Hi, welcome to Arch Labs Yoda 4.1. I've just changed, rearranged all kind of things. Tint is now on the bottom. We have the Misty icon, which is working with Lua. Created a new Konki with uh, Jedi fonts, Arch Labs Yoda. A look for the plank and put it on the left. The thing we're going to do now is getting the rest of my stuff that I need, that I want. And that's all on uh, GitHub. We're on GitHub specifically. Yeah, you just go to, let's see if that works. GitHub, even with a typo, it works. So here we are. We don't want the one with Arch Labs. We want the one that's called Nemesis. Arch Labs Nemesis. And Arch Labs Nemesis is what I'll do when everything is installed. I install my uh, Yoda and then I'll get this. I will download it. I'll do it just like you guys do it. Download the zip and then you open show in folder. Let's get rid of all the rest like so and extract it here. Yes, I know I have to fix this icon. And then we have here this um, bunch of scripts. It's not that difficult, it's not that strange, it's not that uh, geeky. All it is, is a file that we have made executive, execute, allow this file to run as a program. There are some rules to abide to, to follow. There's no other way. We have to tell them bin bash. And this is just out of precaution. This sets the system that when some error occurs, he stops. So you know that you've made an error. So that's okay. So that's the script. And the script is doing nothing more than what you would do in a terminal. So whether you want to do repetitive work or not, I do not like repetitive work. So I do it in a conky, sorry, in a script, and then I'll run it time after time after time on each new installation that I make. Otherwise, it gets too tedious. So that's um, a collection. There's a collection with which is at the root level. This is root level, and these are the personal files. These are things that I'll copy paste over the actual Arch Labs config files if I want to. So. Um, it, it probably goes into the hidden folder dot config and then for, for instance uh, pop, 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 the gimp folders uh, config file the sublime text um, stuff like variety i have always to set everything again whenever there's a new installation so i'm just copying it in the config file from variety over to there that's all i do so we're gonna check what's in here we're gonna analyze it and to speak maybe in a little bit more detail if possible this one is going to check if we have um, if there is a possibility to have even faster servers nearby so we always start with like this and then we type the numbers um, did I do something wrong yes I did of course you have to press here right mouse click otherwise you're not inside the present working directory a nice thing you get you should remember present working directory so we are actually in arch labs nemesis master great and now we can start that ahead and just type it and or oh, we are in belgium and yes we are in belgium so i could my best guess is now to run to five there i go if reflector was not installed hmm, maybe something to add to the iso and I guess that's not that big. Anyway, it's uh, installed now. So it's that fast. Is it? No, no, no. Refactor was installed. Warning, it's up to date, skipping. Okay, no surprises there. So it's going over all the mirrors in the neighborhood. And there we go. My system is up to date, it says. He installed something here which is just fine so okay this is now these two things are just to figure out who's the fastest arch linux server in the neighborhood 
100 is installing stuff that I like, that I want, if I want to have it. I see things that were are already included now in, in the Yoda edition, but all these things are not yet in the Yoda edition and will maybe never get there. So I do believe we have these things. Let's try it out, Let's see what happens. I do believe we can delete this line. No, 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 no. Everything is installed. So these elements were not yet in the distro of uh, Yoda. And these are all about zippers and unzipper stuff. So I'm not going to install these at the moment, but these are programs we can use. This is maybe an interesting baobab. Is maybe one item I can install. It's to figure out if your hard disk is full and then find out, oh yeah, I've downloaded, I don't know what kind of DVD, and then it's too big and your hard disk is getting full. That's an ideal way to figure out where is my, where my gigabytes gone. Okay, so I'm not going to install this one for now. The Conky Aureola is um, something interesting. Well, actually it's, it's here, right here. Don't have to go to a separate tab. It's somewhere down here. Here it is. So these are the my personal conkeys. Some of them have migrated already to Arch Labs, but some have not. And these are all the Aureola conkeys. You can install them as well. Um, the Sardi icons extra are all the Sardi icons inside the Sardi folder. There are scripts to change icons to from color. Let's quickly check one out. Boom, 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 boom. This one. Uh, all these icons are normally blue, and now I, with a little script, they're all this kind of color: Takao color, and green and blue, and whatever color you choose. There are 16 million colors to choose from. Just run the theme. This is the pink theme. Sala Faba Faba is pink. Arkit is also pink. Trom is bluish and so on and so on. So with this change color thing, you can change the study icons, which I'm not going to install now. I have them already installed, as you can see. Going back here, the Canon is just for me. I have a Canon printer, MG7750 Pix map, I think. I've installed already Dropbox, which is down here somewhere. The GNOME screenshot, I've installed it too. Why? Because when I press now Control Print Screen, it's no longer XFCE Screen Shooter, but it's the GNOME that's doing the work. And why? Because I want it to be GPEX, and GPEX are lower in size for the website. Music, if I want to have the radio. Group Customizer, if you want to have an image when you start your group, the black thing where you say three lines, where you say I want to start Arch. And if you want to have an image behind there, you can use that. Or group customizer if you have dual boots. But like I told you in another tutorial, I never do that. I change SSD and that's it. No complicated stories with I can't boot to my system and so on. Just one uh, operating system on one SSD. InSync is a um, Google Drive kind of thing program, which is here. So it finds an anything Anything that's on Google Drive is going to be synced on my machine. Packly is a program I best show, just show you. It's um, a lot of stuff inside. It's a uh, way to, to manage your system. And the, the red is not so... You cannot see the red, so let's change wallpaper. It's not getting any better, actually. Nope, best we can do. But it says fix errors, force install package, force remove package. What does this one say? Configure Pac-Man, force update system, empty package cache. Beware, there are for a reason in the red. So uh, if you, you don't know what to do anymore, that's something you can use. Be sure to make backups because it can screw up the system. 
but most of the time it's just okay so one update system one update system it does the same uh, command as we used to do with for instance let's take a look sudo pacman minus syu that's what it's doing but it's it's a front end terminal okay so packly radio trace again for music you have a little icon here and you can listen to the radio from the philippines install screen keys maybe something if you would like to make uh, tutorials of your own then you have is it still active i guess so this is a screen key Control alt t you see this text Control alt t popping up that screen key spotify has been installed team viewer has been installed let's use um alt f3 for that the viewer 12 is installed and the virtual box is installed it's here zsh is not yet been installed I'm not going to install it for just yet first going to check if all the bash rc stuff is okay so this is bash 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 rc and there's another world out there which is with the set z thing so the zsh configuration is in here but um, i do want to test all these aliases this is one i've made new since 4.1 that's a new one if you make um if you have a png some of the programs are complaining of the, um, the way the png is um, made of made up it's uh, some kind of specification problem and by running this thing here find me everything in this folder with a type file with a name of png execute convert and strip everything makes it again um, it will not provide with any errors afterwards so that's what i do I always have to find this line where's this line again so now there's a little alias i don't have to um, keep it in mind or remember it it's there tell you later Tom. what else um let's go back the plank themes as you know we have plank themes right mouse click preferences and these are all my plank themes so 100 plank themes what i've provided on the iso is just a small collection or 10 or 15 or so i think plank themes of those uh, things so you'll see that there are really strange ones in there as well what you say ugly ones but it all depends in taste so i leave it up to you to choose with your errors which one you'll take i'll take again this one i think the same as yet that's what i have why not in black dark panel and this one is not for you this is just to set up your the github so if you ever want to have your own github to uh, store your own uh, scripts there is a tutorial on eric.dubois.pe i'm not sure if we can get quickly to it but you can um, figure out um, find github or something there is a tutorial on there how to get you started so that's the first part i'm gonna skip or gonna cut the tutorial in two so this one has been discussed and now we're gonna discuss this one in a later tutorial